looking rough looking real rough hey i am vlogging because i need to stay awake and i thought vlogging would keep me accountable because i've been napping every single day and it messes up messes messes up my sleep schedule at night and i end up sleeping at like three that's why these are here just ended my first lecture so it's lunchtime right now today's lunch is looks like a white blob of nothing but it's kori gongtang that my mom made oh my gosh kimchi kimchi like cooked kimchi i don't know what you call that in korean but gonna heat all this up I feel like my hair has been growing like crazy because I haven't been using any heat on it and it's super healthy right now. And I have all these crazy baby hairs. Can anybody relate? Like I, these never grow out. Or maybe they grow out and new baby hairs form like all the time, but that's why hairspray and bobby pins are my best friend. and curled my hair and put on an actual outfit i don't know if i've ever said on this channel officially or if you guys know but i am in a master's program right now so i'm in grad school for occupational therapy at usc and i'm actually graduating next month in exactly a month so i'm just trying to prepare for that i have this huge comprehensive exam that covers the all the courses that we took since the beginning of the program and i have to pass that in order to get my degree so i'm kind of stressed about that and i really need to start studying i am also doing one more year of school and so i got accepted to the doctorate program for usc ot and i am solidifying like my residency site so i just have to make a bunch of decisions and email a bunch of people so that is basically what i've been doing i have class in about 30 minutes but right now i'm gonna check a bunch of emails and i have to send some stuff out but i got my snack with me mangoes with chili peppers yummy ah my jaw and raw truth about eating mangoes it's stuck in your teeth is it all gone oh my gosh my friend rachel just sent me that video of those coffee bean cookies love this youtuber her name is cooking the the youtube name is cooking tree i've been seeing this on social media a lot like that little cookie that looks like a coffee bean and it's so cute it just makes me want to bake oh i realized i wasn't even filming but i'm in my class right now my professor asks us how we're feeling at the beginning and at the end so i'm gonna fill this out right now how am i feeling hmm. i'm honestly feeling pretty good today so what word should we put? Let's see what other people are putting. Anxious, tired, relaxed, optimistic, great. I feel like I'm feeling great. Yeah, I'm gonna put great. My professor is so cute and so sweet, but she doesn't really know how to work technology. I don't think she knows that she's muted right now. Well, they will hold up as uh, an engineering project and so getting distracted during lecture Joyce what are you doing <laughs> my sister's outside wait I didn't know we had soil I think I have to repot one of my plants anyways I'm on my break from lecture right now and I've been wanting to make strawberry ice cream or window i've been wanting to make strawberry ice cream 
So this is the ice cream maker that I have. It's the Cuisinart ice cream maker. I'll link it in the description box down below. This is actually my favorite color. So I was naturally drawn to it. I haven't used it in a really long time. So it's really dusty. So I'm gonna clean it and then you have to freeze the inside first before you actually make the ice cream. Okay, so cleaned all the parts. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer. There's no room, so I'm gonna put it in the outside freezer. I forget how long I have to freeze it for. I think it's um, six to eight hours or something like that. So I think I might have to freeze it today and make the ice cream tomorrow. But I'll check back in whenever I do end up making it. We have this massive freezer in our garage. Yeah, it's 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 huge. So I'm gonna let that baby freeze. Now I'm gonna get back to lecture. Okay, I actually just looked at the manual and it says I have to freeze it between 16 and 24 hours. So I'll be making the ice cream tomorrow, but I will check back in when I do make it. Part of the day where I get really, really tired and I usually want to nap. <sighs> but I can't. The two of my friends have requested that I make churro, so I think I'm gonna try to make that today because churros sound really good. And I was just doing some research and looking up recipes and it seems fairly simple. Okay, I am back and I changed so I didn't get stuff all over my clothes and I was preparing all the ingredients so we're gonna get started and cook the churros. I set up all the ingredients like this and I took pictures because I actually have another Instagram account and I'm really pouring a lot of energy, a lot of creative energy into that account so if you wanna follow that account, it'll be down below is madewithcare.k because you know care for caroline and it's made with care from my heart anyways we're gonna get started with the churros i'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla because i didn't have vanilla bean half cup of milk i'm using whole milk six tablespoons of butter one teaspoon salt one teaspoon sugar tablespoon tablespoon sugar half cup of water and we're gonna let this boil i definitely want to film more cooking videos and baking videos and i can't believe this is the first kind of like cooking baking thing i'm uploading and it's super casual and super informal but i am planning on making more videos dedicated to making stuff once it starts simmering you're gonna add all the flour at once and you're gonna take a wooden spoon and stir vigorously. So the sugar, stir, stir, stir. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh, multitasking is so hard. Okay, so this is what it turns into and you want it to be even more solid than this. All right, I'll be right back. This is so difficult. Okay, so this is what the dough should look like. So I transferred it into the bowl and I'm gonna spread it out like this so it can cool a little bit. So now we're gonna take the batter and put it into a piping bag. Alrighty. Make sure to never go past the max line that is set here. So this is how you test if your oil is ready. You take a wooden utensil, and if it bubbles, it's ready. But ours isn't, so we gotta wait a little longer. Looks like it. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to squeeze it. I'm gonna test it out. I just, this is just half sugar, half cinnamon mixture. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. It smells really good, right? It's so small. It's so small. Okay, taste test. I think it's gonna be really crunchy. 
Mmm. It's now 7.23. I made it through that chunk of time that I usually get super tired. I ate dinner, we ate the churros. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of work before a small group. Night, night star. No. Stars. <laughs> oh, Black eight. hole? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so it is 10.40. We have reached the end of my day. Um, I made it through without sleeping and hopefully today I could get a good night's sleep. Thanks to those of you who stuck through this day with me and watched the whole entire vlog. Um, it wasn't that interesting, but I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. But I am so tired, so I'm gonna go wash up and go to bed. Good night! Whoa!